What a career, what a coach, what a program that Mike Krzyzewski built. Uh, you, as a former head coach of college basketball, former NBA coach of the year, what have you appreciated the most about Coach K throughout his career in college basketball? Well, two things, guys, just consistency in class. You know, he's his teams have played a consistent uh, winning basketball. Um, he's done it with class and sophistication. Uh, this guy's won 1,129 games at Duke. He's got a 78% winning percentage. Um, that's unheard of. I don't know if we'll ever see that again. We'll never see that again. <laughs> but, but just the um, the class, I, I, I like you know how he's developed players on and off the basketball court. That says a lot. All of the players want to go to the NBA and play in the NBA, but he has a lot of players and other successful uh, on other successful platforms, uh, not name the NBA. So I, I just think it's just. It's a tough night for he and his family and the players and their families. But we saw a coach tonight that's the greatest coach. I'm sure the John Wooden fans. I, I didn't I didn't I wasn't around to watch John Wooden in his heyday. I was too young. But I've had a chance to watch Coach K. And it's just been an amazing run. And I really love how at one time he wasn't for recruiting the quote-unquote consistently one-and-done players, but he adjusted. As the game changed, he evolved, and as he coached the youngest team he's ever coached this year, I think he got a tremendous amount out of this team that was under an enormous amount of pressure. I think he changed the game of coaching. He, when he was hired by Duke, his salary in 1980 was $48,000. Over the course of his coaching career, coupled with shoe contracts, he has made north of $100 million. You're never going to win the conversation that he's the greatest college basketball coach ever because John Wooden you know, has national championship on top of national championship. But he changed the game, the business aspect of college basketball. And the Cameron Crazies, he, they created that environment that I think other college basketball programs tried to mimic, tried to imitate. And I can guarantee you, as we're down here in, in New Orleans, that so many other college coaches were inspired to get into the profession because Coach K took that job description, that job level, to another level where now it's just Conference USA coaches are making a million dollars a year. To think that this guy was making $48,000, he's inspired so many. And I love the fact what Coach said, he evolved with the times. You know, people forget he played college basketball for Bobby Knight. Yeah. Yeah. And that's how people coach back in the day. They ruled with a iron fist. No doubt about it. And now the way the world has changed and kids have changed, he has changed as well. He had even changed in this tournament from a man-to-man -man coach to play in his own. So he was constantly learning, constantly changing. But I think he took the coaching aspect, marketing and business, to a whole nother level. He's one of the all-time greatest coaches in history, in the history of sports, not just college basketball, one of the greatest coaches in the history oh, of sports, yep. uh, what he was able to accomplish. 42 seasons at Duke, five national championships, 13 Final Fours, a record. I mean, he is his name is up and down the record books. But the thing is that we will have this lasting image, at least for this night and at least for the last month. North Carolina, his biggest rival, beat him in his final home game. North Carolina beat him in his final game. Where where do you see that impacting him down the road? We think Coach K in five or ten years we go, yeah, he was one of the greatest. But remember his last game? I, I don't think that's going to have any effect on his. None. No, no, I agree. None. Okay. Yeah, None. No, he's done too much for the game of basketball. Um, and, and, again, this team was under so much pressure. I, I think at the end of the day, if they played North Carolina on a neutral floor and it's not the final four and they played ten times, maybe they'll win five and North Carolina win five. But on this stage tonight, I, I believe you know free throws, 
They didn't defend the three-point well, shot well in the second half. Um, uh, you know, sure, you can make an adjustment here. There's big guys get in foul trouble. I, I'm sure, like anything, when you get injured, a hamstring injury the first three days is really when it's painful, and then eventually it gets better. I'm sure if he's sitting on the beach, you know, in the next couple of weeks on vacation with his wife, it, you know, it's going to be on his mind. But eventually when you have the success he's had, all of the grandkids that loves and adores him, his family, so many players that he's meant so much to them and their families. Look at all of the players you were talking about, his contract. Look at all of the NBA players and the contract extensions all of his players have signed over their careers that play that do. So I, I'm sure it'll be painful. Yeah, He's going to move on. Well, the Tar Heels will always have it. I mean, they'll always be able to hang that over his head. They're always when, when Duke and North Carolina fans get together, be like, yeah, Coach K won five national championships, but we beat him in his final home game. We beat him in his final game. Like, they'll always hang that in the rivalry, which makes the rivalry so great. It's amazing. That's why we watch sports. That's why we care so much about this game. And normally when a game is hyped up, it doesn't live up to the hype. There was a ton of shots made in this game. Both teams, they were going blow for blow, back and forth. Caleb Love just made a couple more plays. Brady Mack just made a couple more shots. But I think when we look back on Coach K's career uh, at the college level and then at the international level, taking over Team USA, winning multiple gold medals, restoring USA to the best basketball country in the world, um, yeah, the impact is second to none. I think you're never going to win the argument against John Wooden yep. because the numbers are ridiculous. But the impact on the coaching profession – I think is the highest of any basketball coach of all time. John Shire is the successor. Played for Coach K. He knows the system. But Coach K says, look, this is your program now. I I'm stepping away. I'll be around. How much input do you think he'll have? Do you think that he's going to stay away and give John Shire the reins and say, no, this is your program now, which is essentially what Roy Williams did to Hubert Davis. Roy's around, but this is Hubert's program. I think early on, I can't imagine Coach K even visiting practice because he wants it, just knowing him a little bit, that transition he wants it to be seamless. And now it's John's team. He can move on. The worst thing you can do is have Coach K at practice every other day. All right. He'll stay away, give this team a chance. I don't think, you know, he's going to, you know, attend every game, every home game. I think there's a possibility every now and then he may pop up and try to stay out of the way. Uh, but I, I think he's going to allow this team to transition smoothly, let it breathe a little bit, especially after coming off of a devastating loss uh, against their arch rival in the Final Four. You know, it's so funny. If this was 20 years ago, I think Coach K would go Wolf of Wall Street. I'm not leaving. <laughs> yes. I'm not leaving. Like, if he knew <laughs> yes. that Paolo was yes. coming back and Mark Williams was coming back and Roach was coming back and AJ was coming back, I'm not leaving. <laughs> I'm coming back. I believe, believe it. But why he <laughs> is going to leave is because the roster is going to turn over and there's going to be the transfer portal and there's going to be new one and dones. But, like, if Grant Hill and Christian Leitner and Bobby Hurley were all coming back, I think he would go Tom Brady. I think he would go Wolf of Wall Street. I'm not leaving. But I think because of the, the phase that college basketball is in right now, that's the last game he ever coached. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.